Obi-Wan Taiobi. <laughs> Here is that instructional video that I promised, and uh, I apologize, I have a bit of a cold. <clears throat> so if I'm making weird swallowing s sounds and coughing and stuff, it's just because I have a bit of a cold, I'm sorry. But, uh, okay, so here is the... Uh, uh, basically, I'm using the Mazda Core Wallet in this demonstration, and uh, I'll be browsing it with the Pertis client. And actually, I'm, al I'm already, my computer's already in airplane mode. I'm not connected to any wireless, you know, because I've been doing this for a little bit uh, prior to making this video, just to make sure it worked. Like I remembered it worked because I was browsing on the air airplane like uh, once and I was just like, oh, like I can still, it still works. And yeah, and so I just kind of didn't really think this would be a cool thing until I actually was using it on an airplane and uh, thought it was kind of neat that I can still browse all of everything that I've ever uh, done is still right there and I, I don't need an internet connection to, to do it. And then I realized how private, how much more private that was uh, by uh, having it this way because uh, everyone that has Mazacoin has the exact same uh, wallet. So uh, anyone who has it, you can't say that you had it for any particular, that you own it because you want to look at any particular thing that's in it or you want to have access to any particular data in it. You just own it because you're a member of the Maza Core network, and it's the coin, and that you know it's a, it's a money thing. But along with the money transactions, all of the currency transactions, there's all kinds of data transactions, and there's all kinds of application transactions, and all kinds of other things uh, happening inside the Maza Core wallet because we've been using it for years. <laughs> there's just all kinds of stuff in there. So <clears throat> uh, some of the stuff that uh, I'm browsing for this demonstration is uh, Standing Rock content that we uh, archived on there during the Standing Rock uh, uh, events that happened in uh, North Dakota. Uh, so, and we archived it all using a Standing Rock keyword. Uh, you can see one right here in this particular one. That's uh, just uh, you know, just like in in Twitter. It's similar to that. Uh, if you archive with a hashtag, it's gonna it's gonna make a permanent uh, link that anyone else can find real fast to that data uh, that you put on there. So we did a search for standing rock. Well, it was already on it, and it brings back uh, the first result. And the first time you do this search, it's going to take a lot longer than what you just saw there. It's just because I did it earlier. Uh, you see, it brought back a whole bunch of different results. Each one of these things, uh, at least, you see if they've got the same dates, always go with the top one because there's a bug that doesn't hide the bottom one. So always go for the top one. But for each between each of these date ranges, there's at least one full file, and some you know some of these bigger ones are very large files. Uh, so here's uh, an image that uh, one of the first images uh, that was put on for Standing Rock of when the militarized police force uh, uh, started to arrive at Standing Rock. Uh, this is an image from a, a cell phone video that was recording it when that kind of first uh, when the uh, when it at least became televised and more known that, that they were militarizing the police. And there's all kinds of stuff. There's uh, not only just files, there's whole websites uh, that were archived. So here's an example of browsing a web page. Uh, some, most of the links on here aren't going to work because these are actually links to other internet sites that don't exist because we're offline. They're just going to go to a you can't go there because we have no internet right now. <laughs> but uh, everything that uh, you know is that was cached locally from that website when we did the archive uh, still remains without the internet. So you know, a lot of some of the pictures and, and the JavaScripting and stuff still remains. <clears throat> so there you go. Uh, 
this is a kind of a new way of being able to vary privately because you don't even because uh, you, you can be in airplane mode without having any kind of connection very privately uh, browse uh, web pages uh, web pages that were uh, that were uh, published in a, in a decentralized way without any servers in the middle as well which is kind of cool but now you won't be able to get anything new unless you uh, reconnect to the internet and but if you want to be very uh, sensitive if you're sensitive about what remains on your computer after you viewed for some reason my mouse isn't working right now there it goes then you're going to want if you're sensitive about what remains behind on your computer then you need to come out to the uh, program folder that you're running the purchase from and inside the root you're going to see that there's every transaction ID that you've ever browsed will be inside here because it makes a cache of it because it doesn't make sense for it to have to go back twice because this data will never change <laughs> so once it puts it on there once it never really ever has to look for an update on it ever again uh, so it caches it and then it makes it a lot faster uh, going forward for you so delete all the cache and then also delete the catalog because the catalog is a is a listing of everything also a kind of a listing of everything that you've ever looked at uh, so you want to delete that and then delete your uh, and empty your recycle bin and that's you know pretty secure because uh, you know unless someone was looking you know of course if someone was watching you you know they could uh, kind of see what you're browsing but uh, there shouldn't really be a, any way for them to be able to uh, monitor what you're doing and uh, even and then as long as you delete up all that stuff know what you were up to uh, you, know, you can you know you have you have your privacy back <laughs> you can do what you want you know be free be free <laughs> it's your own choice but do to be good please <laughs>